Video Track 1, I have the basic outline of an edited project. A right click brings up a dialog box. An SVRT track is selected. The intelligent SVRT room displays, showing a custom profile. There I go dashing ahead. First select the Produce Workspace. I'm editing MP4s. That's the one to click on. Next I select Intelligent SVRT. Up pops the dialog box. Wow, just read the information. The video has been recognised, the correct frame rate, frame size, bit rate and a percentage of where the template works. I wonder what that means. Select Apply and fill in the camera and clip details. I want to identify this custom profile to use again. The new profile will be found easily through selecting Custom in the drop-down menu. In the project chosen, look closely and you'll see unlinked audio with overlaid video and still images, bolstered with standard edited clips. In places there is the insertion of the power tool icon, indicating a change has been made. Now I get it. The percentage is the green SVRT area, and the red part will have to be processed by PowerDirector. All those red bits are on top of where I've added something to the project. I'll add a few transitions to the project and see what happens. The effect is the same for one as it is with lots. SVRT notes the change and the transition has to be rendered processed by PowerDirector. Adding a title has the same effect and that has to be rendered. The SVRT percentage is lowered with every addition to the project. I experimented using Intelligent SVRT with a good number of Panasonic video camera clips. All the ones I tested worked. I used SVRT with MTS, MP4 and MOV clips from Sony, Abtec, Kodak, Canon and other video cameras. I used the default profile for a Canon Vixia HFS 10. I pulled in 24 MTS files and all green lined with intelligent SVRT. With my project, I called up Produce. See how hardware acceleration is showing. Selecting Custom, my intelligent SVRT profile displays with the Sanyo HD 2000.